How's it going people? Welcome back to yet another amazing segment on my YouTube channel called Trader Talk. Now this video was supposed to have gone out yesterday but I recorded one version yesterday but I was too tired. I didn't feel like I had enough fire in me um, in that video so I decided to shoot another one today but here I am today guys. So in this video today obviously you know Trader Talk is where I come on here to share my screen where we talk some technical analysis, we look at the charts, um, we break them down and then we look at potential opportunities whereby we can all make money from the market. Okay guys, so today I've actually written down some things that I wanted to discuss with you guys. My primary focus today are two things. The very first thing is I want to speak about oil prices. Now, in the video I released in December, I think first week in December or last week in November, I had predicted oil was going to go from where it was, which is about $68 a barrel, all the way to $100 a barrel. Yes, I made a killing. I made a lot of money um, buying oil at the time and I predicted everything live here. I showed you guys my entries, how I was going to trade it, um, my exit points and it's safe to speak that my, my predictions have come to pass. Yes, I'm going to be bragging a little bit, but most importantly, I want to explain to you guys, you know, just kind of, you know, do a little recap as to why I took the trade and how you guys can use my methodology, the top down analysis to make a lot of money in the market as well. I'm coming on here and I'm showing you guys the top down analysis. OK, and then obviously made money off of it. So how can you guys do it as well? This is exactly what I want to be teaching today. There are a lot of opportunities now. Um, we all know what's happening in Ukraine is not exactly the best. Um, obviously Russia invading Ukraine personally I don't want Putin to be in freaking Ukraine like I don't want Russia to be there um, left to me they should everybody should just obviously calm down however um, the crisis has kind of like given birth to opportunities you know commodity prices have gone through the roof oil prices have shot up gold prices have shot up you know so um, silver prices have shot up so today I actually want to teach you guys how you can combine crisis in the world, instability, fundamental crisis, how you can use your top-down approach, technical analysis to take advantage of situations like this because I'm making money off of it. I'm not proud to say that um, I'm making money off of it, but what can we really do? We're traders, our duty is to come on the charts and try as much as possible to make money from you know opportunities like this. So guys, stick around. I'm going to be talking about Euro USD, oil prices, gold prices, Russia and Ukraine crisis, and most importantly, how you guys can make money off of this as well. And once again, before I dive into my video, I wanted to say a special shout out to the Forex Mastery student. As always, the community is growing. It is huge. And most importantly, I'm seeing results from you guys. And I am so, so proud. I scroll through my Telegram every day and I'm seeing various testimonials, screenshots, people telling me, oh, thank you very much, sir. For the first time in my life, I have made a redraw. I'm seeing people who've been trading for 10 years, no progress, they take the course and everything is fine. So let me dive into my chart so that I can show you guys what if you haven't joined the program you're missing. Let me dive into my chart and show you guys what exactly it is you're missing. And for the mastery student, let's go back into the charts, let's do a little recap, let's realign our focus and let's see all the money making potential opportunities. So once again, if you haven't grabbed the program, the link is going to be around here somewhere. But for now, let us go. Welcome inside my screen people. Welcome to the juicy part, right? So today I've actually written down a couple of things that I want to discuss with you guys today um, We're going to be talking charts technical analysis. Let's break down the charts. Let's see what exactly is happening So first things first first on my first on my first on my um, list is oil prices now I had predicted, sorry, I just want to make sure this is recording. I had predicted um, oil prices from right about around this region. You guys can see very carefully. Um, I predicted it way back in, I predicted it way back in sometime in December, uh, last week in November. Okay, last week in November, um, December times, I predicted that oil prices were going to go all the way up to, as you can see, 85, 92, and then eventually $100 a barrel. Um, I think if I have the time, I'm going to put in a snippet of me saying that somewhere about here so that you guys know that this shit is real. Okay, so I predicted it and I had told everybody to get ready. We're going to start jumping on some nice trades. So I did take advantage of the oil price trade. Um, it was rather the oil 
surge trade of course i did and my entries were somewhere about here as you can see very nicely and i have held on to oil ever since then now <clears throat> some of you guys would have struggled with holding on to your oil trades because your futures contracts expire every 30 days which is fine however i do have a special arrangement when it comes to my investors with um with a broker that allows me have my my positions open for a rollover contract but um for students who reached out to me and were like my trades keep getting closed up at the end of every month this is standard for commodities um commodities that have futures contracts for example oil i think natural gas and a couple of other things your contracts will close out every 30 days so what i just advised students to do or forex mastery students to do was for every time you got closed out just click another buy the way oil was steaming up i already knew that there wasn't really going to be any issues heading all the way up into 92 and as you can see let me just quickly zoom in right about here so i just need to move my CLA forward so let's actually break let's actually break this charts down okay so um obviously oil has run up into 108 let me just delete my entries and exit because i don't believe in all that entries and exit trying to brag how much money i made but guys i did make a, a shitload of money off of this it was a, it was a, a lot of money right um, i'm so happy for the forex mastery students who made a lot of money off of this as well that listen to to the trade um so i mean I already knew, like, from my top down, let me go over to the monthly. Forget about what is happening in Russia and Ukraine at the moment. Like, if if you look left, let me just delete all this stuff. It's just simple top-down analysis, right? Simple top-down analysis. So let's do the analysis over again. At the time at which I analyzed this, the market was here. It's a monthly time frame. Now, when I did look at the monthly time frame, okay, I had noticed uh, all the price action that was going on in here. For me, this looked like a very clear double bottom. This double bottom had been broken down, okay, broken down here. We come back into this range. Um, we have tested it. So usually, anytime the market wants to break somewhere and continue heading lower, it will just continue going. But anytime I see like a whipsaw down, and then we come back into the range, not only do we come back into the range, we come and try and break it, but we stand firm. So we stood firm at $35 a barrel so once we stood from at $35 a barrel I was already if I zoom in now this is a higher time frame I'll get to the lower time frame in a bit so by the time the market came into around this $32 $33 a barrel and we stood firm I was already looking at the top here I said next level target is going to be $76 a barrel for oil okay when we get to $76 a barrel we'll then decide what happens now oil really started to spark my interest when this move was just amazing and then we pe we peaked above it we broke above it break above close above okay break above close above and then obviously um the market couldn't sustain above it so we came back down but look at this break above this is the highest oil had been in god knows how long probably since when uh 2012 okay so we peaked above this is definitely a clear higher high from this other ones this was looking to me like momentum right so what i'd done was obviously i'd put a, like a minor level about here just to excuse me now all of this is happening on the monthly time frame and i'll get to my entries shortly so i'd put a little uh my yellow bar that i always put at this level right about here obviously i zoomed in pretty nicely um and i was waiting so i said to myself if oil cannot sustain above here we will break down and if we want to break down and steady heading back here we will need to break this yellow bar all the way down here however if we sustain above this yellow bar and i start to see green bars as bullish momentum that simply means that oil simply had some form of a profit taking at this level we were only going to rest this was this was no longer a re it was resistance but it didn't signify reversal at this time it was going to signify exhaustion okay and profit taking so once i saw all the profit taking down here and then we came down here and we balanced and we started shooting all the way up here again this is when i now started to scroll to my daily time frame and i started to look for potential entries um for my oil trade as well and it was very simple um counter trend line break was was pretty much pretty much what did it for me it was so simple and straightforward um and as you can see we bounced off of here um the market tried to come back and break down here guys let me tell you a little trick about forex right support if the market wants to head up this is what it usually does it will come down push up okay and try to come down again now if you notice that the market is trying to come down again but it now forms a higher low from the previous one that means 
don't know. I, I, this pattern is so, like, it's so, I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's something I've seen so many times. So, we just married the, it's almost like, I know I wanted to go down, but I actually want to break this level. Did you get what I mean? I actually want to break this. So, we just married this level a little bit. You know, I just started to see, like, ah, oh, okay, this is, it's kind of like a flag pattern. This thing wants to break higher. And once, you know, I just saw, like, a daily candle close, I was already hopping on buys. And I already knew that I was holding on for the long term. Now, in regards to why I was calling those key levels, it's very simple. Um, for those of you who want to learn how to map out your key levels, obviously you have to grab the Forex Mastery program. But let me just show you why exactly I, how exactly I was able to map out my key levels and say, okay, these were going to be the turning points in the market. Blah, say, blah, say, blah, say, blah, say. Okay. So Forex Mastery students, sometimes when mapping out your key levels becomes very complicated. Um, just look left, you might most likely see a trend like so. So, for me, um, this was, as a matter of fact, when oil came to turn around in this level like so. Excuse me. When oil came to turn around at $84 a barrel, before it came to $84 a barrel, I already knew because all I did was had to look left. You can see that this in itself is somewhat of a major level. Um, how did I know this was a major level? It's simple. This is a touch of the trend line and it also lines up with some other strong places as well. Um, my next level target for this, sorry guys. My next level target for this was I think 90 something and then we obviously had 100. I didn't want to, I think it was about 91 or 92. I didn't want to exactly stress everybody with major levels and all that blah 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 but obviously i already knew these key levels and then hundred dollars a barrel was a was a round number and then obviously top-down analysis students you know this it was the top this is the top this is the major s key level as a matter of fact all the levels in between were just as you can see i'm not using a blue bar to map them out all the levels in between were watch out watch out watch out but the overall guy was always a hundred and nine dollars a barrel okay i think about 109 110 yes 109 dollars a barrel if you think i'm joking check my previous analysis i might drop a link here to it we already established this in the previous video i'm just going over it again right so for me you know it was this, it was a situation of okay i'm gonna hold this for the long haul okay i'm gonna hold this um, I think this was the only trade that I actually held all throughout most of um, the holiday period, obviously into the new year and stuff like that. Um, so uh, that, that was pretty much what my conviction for oil prices were. Now, in regards to the fundamental news that's coming out, see the thing, guys, is stick to your analysis, right? And one thing I've learned about being able to analyze the market properly, I always tell everybody, your fundamentals will always somewhat line up with your technicals, okay? Um, so this is exactly, I'm never really worried about what fundamentals are. I, I didn't know Ukraine and Russia were going to go to war. Do you get what I mean? But what has actually happened is it has just helped the market, you know, further my cause. And I can't complain about that. So you find out that 9 out of 10 times, the fundamentals will line up with your technicals. Why that happens is a myth. Um, however, the, the most important thing is don't be swayed by fundamentals. Okay? Just stick to your technicals and most of the time, 9 out of 10 times, the fundamentals will coincide with your overall direction. Because I, I, I didn't know they were going to go into crisis, but what I did know was there was a freaking trend. There was a trend that I could see very clearly, okay? So this is exactly how I was able to obviously break down the oil prices and was able to make all this money. I made a significant amount of money from oil. I'm very, very happy with this. As you can see, this is a full on bullish erection all the way up into here. The market would have taken a lot longer to get here, but it was going to get here eventually. Oil, um, the, the crisis in, in Ukraine just pretty much helped everything, you know, get there a bit faster. So nothing to really see here for oil prices. Oil is a bit complicated when it comes to your analyzing, especially for new traders. So I always advise them to stick to, to the FX pairs. But I just wanted to explain to you guys, when it comes to commodities, I have to really dig deep. The, the pullbacks are not exactly like the regular pullbacks. But if you open up your eyes, I mean, for my entry, um, this pullback is not exactly the best pullback um, traders like to see but i was able to understand how oil oil pulls oil, oil pullbacks are very different okay and if you want to understand how a pair or a commodity pulls back just look at the previous pullbacks okay if you look at this pullback it's not exactly the most it's not exactly the sexiest pullback so if it's, this is going to pull back it's not obviously going to give you the sexiest pullback but the fundamentals of a pullback still remain the same it needs to pull back and give you waves so that you can connect your 
counter trend line on top and a breakout stop losses must always come below previous lows. So for this was about the, the risk to reward ratio on this trade was probably about maybe six or seven to one, which is very, very fantastic. These kind of trades are what help me make 35 to 40% return on one trade. Okay, so I only need a couple of trades like this in a year and I'm pretty much good. So I'm actually, um, <clears throat> I didn't take that much profit out at these other 90 and it's some dollars a barrel. My first major level to take out profit was actually a hundred dollars a barrel. Um, I, I spoke to my traders in London and I told them, okay, a hundred dollars a barrel, let's start liquidating. A hundred dollars is a round number. Let's start liquidating, take out about 75% of our position. I was actually really, really expecting oil to hit 109, but it has because of the crisis. Now moving forward, sorry, I'm spending too much time on oil. Guys, moving forward, um, oil might do a madness. Um, I just want to delete everything. Top-down analysis students, Forex mastery students, just by looking at this, let's just do a very broad analysis on this um, so that you guys can beat your chest and be like, yes, I analyzed oil and oil did this and oil did that. If the crisis in Ukraine does continue um, and we do take out this $108 a barrel, the next level target for oil might be $142 a barrel, going back to um, 2008 of, of August, right? So don't say like Mr. Willis didn't tell you, don't say that, blah, blah, blah. However, this is looking like a very stretched move. So I'm um, just looking at this. We might, we might. <sighs> Potential pullbacks might come in here. Yellow bar about here. Just need to zoom this in so that you guys can see pretty nicely. Okay, potential pullbacks for oil might come in here. If indeed, if indeed we start to hear peace talks. Um, so right now, crude is pretty much driven by by what's happening in the news at the moment. So one hundred and eight dollars a barrel. Um, the way we broke through this level, we didn't really test it. Oil might want to come test it. I'm out of this at the moment. However, if we take out $108 a barrel, I'll need to see a monthly bullish engulfing candle close above here. Ladies and gentlemen, $140 a barrel next for oil. So this is my rationale behind trading. I move from level to level, um, level to level, pull back at the level, break the level, next level, pull back at the level, next level. This is how I like to trade the market. It's simple, it's straightforward. I don't need to stress myself. I just close my computer and allow the market to work for me. Now over to Euro USD. Let's not waste too much time. So that's oil prices done. Once again, guys, when it comes to oil um, commodities, okay, it's simple. Just do your analysis and the world usually falls in our favor. Oil and um, Euro USD, I'm pretty much short at the moment. Let's just quickly go over Euro USD um, in a nutshell. Sorry, so I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Sorry, I got a new mouse, so it's, the sensitivity is a bit zero for this thing. So let me quickly explain to you guys what's happening on the Euro. Um, I'd already explained this before, but I'll go over it again. A Euro USD um, wasn't exactly the easiest for us to trade most of last year. Um, however, we still found a way to make some money. But what's happening right now for the Euro is this double top at this major level. We have come down, okay? We have broken back down into this range. Not only have we broken back down into this range, we have come to test the top of this range. And because of that test, I was able to come down to a daily time frame and look for potential entries. This market is officially don't forget guys this is a double top this is a neckline that has been broken um, I was looking for potential sell opportunities I actually the first time I actually wanted to hop on euro sales was actually on this region about here but we were sitting on the blue major level I'm not going to touch a trade at this blue major level so I remember saying to you guys wait for a clear break a clear break happened we tested it I actually entered euro sell here actually but you guys know how I like to trade. My first level target was always 100% retracement. We came down here, I took out 50% of my position, moved stop loss to break even. Before I knew what was happening, the market pulled back. The market pulled back into my entry and stopped me up for a break even. But I'd already taken out 50% of my position. So I didn't really make a lot of money on the first trade. I probably made about maybe 2.3% return, which for some traders would be like, oh, that's so little. Relax. Sometimes the first trade isn't always going to be do is sometimes the first trade isn't always going to be the trade that will that will make things happen. You know, sometimes the second, you know, you have to obviously wait to see what the second trade has to offer, right? Just give me a sec. So everything had pretty much lined up. Okay, you see the first touch, second touch, third touch, but the third touch usually does the trick. But the market was kind of like stalling. So what I did was, and this is what happens if you get into a trade. Now I want you guys to listen to this very carefully. If you get into a trade, 
always take out 50% of, of your position at the first level target, 100% retracement, move your stop losses to break even so that, and take out so that if the market wants to pull back, it's fine. This way, you're not panicking so that you are now in a more comfortable position for you to now be like, okay, two things, at this point, I was like, two things are going to happen. Already, I knew this double top was going to hold. I knew that I, this blue bar, like once we come down close below, it tested it, I already knew it was going to hold. But in the event that you're not so confident, what you can do is you take the first one. If it doesn't really pan out, take what you can, what you can take and chill. Allow the market to tell you what it wants to do. And as the market wanted to start coming down again, as the market wanted to start coming down again, I was now able to jump into the trade again. I had already taken out some money from the first trade. It didn't exactly flow the way I wanted it to flow, but because I had parameters in place to ensure that I didn't lose, at least I took something. This way, I'm like, at least I've taken something from you. Let's see what happens next. And the market came and was about to start falling down again. I drew another counter trade line, and here you have it. Euro USD is on its way down. It has broken that those areas that were disturbing it before. And I can tell you for free that Euro USD next level target is going to be at 1.09032. If we take out this level you already know the blue bar just delete this you already know that the blue bar is waiting for you now for those of you who, who are unfortunate enough not to get into this trade um so like i keep saying to you guys i don't trade on very high time frames although this execution was on the daily for those of you guys who have lower time frame strategies all i want from you guys to take from my channel is to identify the direction direction is very very key as you can see the euro direction has kicked off we're coming down here 1.08992 you can use your one minute 15 minute time frame strategy whatever but what i need from you guys to do is when you indeed zoom in all you need to do is be looking for selling opportunities i am here to give you direction you might not like my entry or my exit strategy feel free to use your strategy okay um forex mastery student now guys once again if you haven't grabbed the program you're missing out a big much of information like you're missing out so much okay if you haven't grabbed the program the link is going to be around here somewhere so that you can look at this market for what it is okay don't don't shoot yourself in the foot and kid yourself and be like oh, guys i don't care what strategy you're using some people come to me and like it does that but i already have this uh, lower time frame strategy blah blah keep your strategies fine the mastery course what it actually helps you do is identify clear directions so that whatever strategy it is you have you can use it in confluence with what the market is telling you once again the link is going to be around here go ahead and grab it so as you can see i've broken this chart very uh, broken down this chart for you guys if you have entered when i've entered most mastery students have if you haven't but you still want to hold on to your strategy it's up to you your strategy moving average crossover blase blase is entirely up to you all i'm here to tell you is euro is coming to 108992 so if you are thinking of buying think again Think again. All I will advise you to do is allow your strategy align for a sales setup, and then you have all this space, all this space to work with. And then watch out once we break out here next level. So you guys, we have a potential huge drop of here. Okay. So whatever strategy entry exit you're using is entirely up to you. I, I am a different kind of trader. I am a very very conservative trader i like to trade and i like to hold and i like to go and do other things so my sales trades are about here i'm expecting and anticipating the euro first level target 1.08992 if we can take out here we're definitely going to come here um why am i anticipating all of this is simple because if you look left um this guy is a bulldozer about here don't play with this green place if we can take out this bulldozer next level target is going to be this blue bar around here so euro usd you had it here first um lower time frame guys use whatever strategy it is you want um but this is what the overall flow is pretty much telling me okay as you can see uh, it's pretty nicely done for us um double top on even on the four hour time frame we have a nice double top here we skidded all the way down here we're just going to keep rolling over all the way to the downside so that's all your prices on euro usd in a nutshell um let's go over to gold and then let's go over to we'll touch btc gold btc and then we will now round up with russia and ukraine crisis and how you know things are going to unfold a bit later on so next level is gold now i remember i walked into where i always have my breakfast um kaya 
um, and I was fortunate enough um, um, I was fortunate enough to be highly recognized by one of the senior member of staff he's actually the general manager I think of the, the, the restaurant chain and he walked up to me and obviously we started talking about gold and he had mentioned to me that oh he was buying gold and he was having challenges with gold and right in front of him, I think I must have opened up the charts and I said to him, if you're watching this, shout out to you. I'm sure you can see that our predictions are actually happening at the time. So I think he must have bought gold somewhere around here and gold was spiking all the way to the upside. But for some strange reason, gold came here. Actually, let me delete this. For some strange reason, gold came here and started stalling. Now, on a weekly time frame, it looks like a week. But on a four hour time frame, this is some serious candles. How can you be all the way up here and just start falling? So for people that were buying here, buying here, buying here, buying here, it's a lot of issues for them. So I want to teach you guys something here. If at any time you are in a trade and then the market is going, 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 and it just stops at a point, okay? Start locking in profit, number one. In the event that you have locked in profit and then the market comes and stops you out in terms of so for instance you are plus 100 pips in profit right and then you have locked in 80 pips and then the market retraces back down into 80 pips and it stops you out for pro profit of 80 pips yeah let's say that happens what you need to do next is to relax and take what you can take then come on the chart what was that turning point that made the market start turning around? In this case, once I, I just asked him, at what point did gold turn around? It was here. This was the point gold turned around because gold came out here, spiked back all the way back down and closed here. So I said to him, this is a very, very simple transaction, right? Take what you can take and relax. Put a resistance bar, a temporary resistance bar here, and then wait for the market to then come back to break that level. I literally told him, it's simple. This, it was showing red. This was a couple of days ago, actually. It was showing red here. He was like, this thing's gonna start falling. I'm like, but this is, it looked like it was gonna start falling here. But look at what happened. We started going all the way back up. So sometimes the immediate candles can confuse you. So all you need to do, all I told him, I said, put a resistance bar here. I have seen gold's overall target all the way up here. If gold wants to get here, it needs to come back and break here, right? So simple, wait for gold here. Let it do what it needs to do here. If it drops back down, then leave it alone. It wasn't meant to be. But if indeed we want to come up here, don't be scared. You won't miss out on on this move. All you need to do is be wait for gold. I, I always look at it as a bus stop, right? I don't know what analogy to use. It's just like, okay, Emirates does Lagos to London, but Emirates will not, never fly directly to London from Lagos. Emirates will do Lagos, Dubai, London, right? So if Emirates wants to go from Lagos to London, it must pass through Dubai, right? So in this case, let's wait for Emirates in Dubai. Let's say, okay, if indeed we want to get to London, let's freaking wait for it here in Dubai. Okay, because Emirates can decide he wants to go to Kenya, he wants to go here, wants, but if indeed he wants to get to London, it must pass through Dubai. So take your trade, relax, and come and wait for it in Dubai. Let it announce to you, we are now boarding, our calling is all the way to London. We are boarding to London. We are heading to London. And now what did he do? He came like he was confused, and then he came back to Dubai airport and like, we're boarding to London. And at this point, for you, for this is when you can now start buying your tickets and buying your trade to London to London that's exactly how it works so if at any time you're in a trade and then the market is just moving funny just be locking in your profit locking in your profit if you get stopped out for profit that's fine wait for it set a resistance bar at that level allow the market play around that level you come now go wait I say I'm not going to touch you until you clear this level and once it clears it, feel free to enter. Um, let me see if... <clears throat> yeah, so it's simple and straightforward. I'm just going to... For for gold at the moment, um, as you can see, because of the, the, the crisis that's going on, gold is a safe haven. I, I'm expecting 2074, but let me look at the monthly time frame, actually. Um, why exactly is gold holding on? So gold is holding on to dear life because of this week, 1922. So I really do hope gold breaks 1922. Once we break 1922, I don't see any reason why, um, or maybe because of this. 
let's actually be considering and bring this down here okay let's say two thousand dollars an ounce so yeah i'm actually seeing a triangular breakout happen sorry you see i don't really like trading um gold at the moment because gold can be a bit funny hold on guys so false breakout we've held at this base for this long hold on guys I just want to understand what exactly is even happening with this bloody pair. Okay, cool. So, false breakout, sideways movement, trying to do a stop loss run, then get there. We've maintained these highs, chop up here, and then higher lows, higher lows. Okay, and then we had another one like so. So, yeah, I see no reason why go at least $2,030 per ounce. Um, so this is what I'm calling gold. So guys, just as long as there are no um, agreements between Russia and Ukraine, gold should still maintain this momentum. But somebody was arguing with me in the comment section of my on, on YouTube, and they were like, um, "How can you say gold is ranging? Gold, gold is doing this. Gold is doing that." <sighs> this is how I know people don't really understand how the market works. On a big picture, gold is ranging. Gold has been in this range since when? September of 2020. We've been just playing around here. Just because gold rallied maybe 1,000 pips here doesn't still negate the fact that it's in a range. Gold is still pretty much in a range. But within the range, we're still looking, we're still finding potential buying opportunities. Okay, so I know people always want a situation whereby Dapo Willis is wrong. I know because I keep bragging about how fantastic my strategy is, but guys, the honest truth is I know exactly what I'm saying. I've seen this kind of things happen so many times. And Forex Mastery students, you guys know, you know, this shit works, this shit is real. So enough about gold. Um, I'm, I didn't take the gold trade. I just wanted to speak about gold, um, just obviously to speak about, uh, just to obviously help my friend. Um, who is obviously the general manager at Kaya. I hope he watches this video. I know that you are in gold. Gold should get to where it should get to um, as long as the crisis still remains. So, yeah, that's pretty much gold. And last but not the least, a BTC. Let's have a look at BTC and see what's happening because I know a lot of you guys love BTC. Let me delete this. So, Bitcoin in itself, um, let's clone this. So, I want to make sure that I'm not missing out on the key level for BTC. Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing out on the key level for BTC because BTC right now is looking. So I, I'm I'm looking at Bitcoin. We came shy of the thirty-two dollar mark. Mark, um, we came down here and then. What so what has happened for BTC is I was like I said to you guys all the way from here I knew it was gonna crash all the way down here. However, we've come shy of my bearish target. I didn't trade this, but I'm just saying. Came shy of my bearish target. Um, I was expecting also to at least come on from a proper base. I'm not happy Bitcoin didn't form a proper base around here. I'm not happy that the base formed here. If the base had formed here, I would have been like, okay. For example, this is a bullish reversal um, candlestick pattern. But I would have loved for this to form here. So for Bitcoin, I'm a bit skeptical. Okay. Um, however, the, the, the pattern has formed. Um, it's possible that this is still not comfortable with this no matter how i look at it guys sometimes when I'm, when i'm not comfortable with something i just find it difficult to trade you know <sighs> for bitcoin i'm not gonna lie to you i can't really say um i think this reversal bullish reversal is a bit premature but the one thing i do know is that bitcoin would like to come into 50 about 60k um per coin for at least you know just to so this will really be the deciding point for btc um we will then from here decide if we want to carry on or if indeed we want to roll over for a left shoulder head and right shoulder pattern okay so i won't be surprised if btc starts to push all the way to the upside all the way to 60k um, but for me to have really bought some coins, I would have loved for us to at least come down into this 31k region, balance out the same way it's balanced out here. Because now I can see a higher low, which usually indicates, um, you know, a, a, an instrument is really, really thinking about, you know, heading higher. So let me see, maybe if we can refine some entries, potential entries. Yeah, BTC is looking a bit ripe still. 
sorry my hands were covered btc is looking a bit ripe sorry this video is quite long i haven't i haven't been on the charts like this in a while btc is looking a bit ripe okay so we'll do the range breakout methodology for this one right so if btc can clear 44k bullish engulfing candle um, next level target should be at 60k per, per coin um, but i'm just going to be watching this very carefully i'm not too confident about because i just wish it had come down a bit lower you know it will what was that guys i'm sorry something just happened hold on guys sorry no come on my screen <laughs> oh my goodness guys is this new mouse that i just got that is misbehaving oh it's come back I don't know if you guys can see sorry guys it's a bit blurry now i don't know why all these children of nowadays and their technology they will not allow somebody rest okay that's fine sorry guys so yeah um btc is ranging about here maybe we'll play around here for a bit i'll just be monitoring the situation i'm not ready to start buying any coins at the moment so yeah anyways long story short let me quickly make you do a quick recap the only pair that at the moment that is really really trending at the moment that's right to trade is the euro sell trades for euro gbp nowhere to go aud usd nowhere to go the euro is flat out dropping okay the euro is flat out dropping let's just pray it keeps falling sharp <laughs> um so that's pretty much it guys ladies and gentlemen and to obviously recap the russia and ukraine crisis use what you've learned from this video use what you've learned from the forex mastery program there's a lot of opportunity go commodity prices anytime there's crisis commodity prices always go up so use your top-down analysis um, knowledge if you haven't grabbed the mastery program get it now so that you can have your top-down methodology use that in addition with the fundamentals news coming out commodity prices are going to skyrocket gold oil silver whatever thing you can lay your hands on use your top-down approach refine your entries jump into the trade and make some money once again um, my name is Dapo Willis. I'm going to take you guys over to my other screen. Um, thank you very much for staying with me. And shout out to the Mastery students. Shout out to the YouTube subscribers. Thank you guys very much. Take it easy and let us go. Thank you very much for staying to the very end of this very lengthy video. I hope you have learned a lot. Like I said today, I covered a couple of things. Oil prices, Russia and Ukraine crisis, Euro USD, which is the pair I'm actually looking at at the moment, making some money off of it. Um, I hope you've been able to learn a lot from today. Um, I'm not quite happy about the whole Ukraine crisis, if I'm going to be very honest. It's quite sad. But like I said in the intro of this video, what can we really do, right? So the most important thing is to financially secure yourself um, so that in the event you find yourself in this kind of crisis in the future, at least you have enough money, you're making money from the market, and at least you can disappear into a safe region. At the moment, you guys know I live in Dubai now, which is termed as one of the safest places in the world. And I'm able to work from here. I'm able to grow my businesses because of my skill when it comes to trading at any point in time in my life I will always be able to feed myself and feed my family my mom my, my dad and everybody because I am a trader the forex market is my ATM machine so once again guys um, I do encourage you to take this thing very seriously for those of you who haven't grabbed the program once again the link is gonna be down here and of course my broker of preference is infinite capital amazing guys if you haven't already created an account with them the link is gonna be around here somewhere once again I think I have another video coming up Yes, I have another video coming up over the weekend. It's a this is going to be story time, right? So obviously we did technical analysis, then story time. The story time videos are always a must watch. You have to watch them because I speak about my own struggles when it came to Forex. I wasn't always this good when it came to Forex. There were times where I struggled, how I overcame them. A lot of you are going through similar struggles as well. So ensure to watch up on my very next video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my subsequent videos. Take it easy and peace out.